South Carolina truly is a jewel in the crown of this country. And as we've just explored the birthplace of the state we know it to be today, it will soon be time to commemorate the Battle of Sullivan's Island, known as Carolina Day. We want to welcome Cal Stevens, chairman for the Palmetto Society of Charleston. Great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. So this is a celebration. It's a commemoration. Um, tell us a little bit more about the establishment of Carolina Day and certainly what happened on this uh, date. Sure, great. So as you said, I'm the chairman of the Palmetto Society of Charleston. The Palmetto Society was established in 1777, which was one year after the victory at the Battle of Sullivan's Island, which occurred on June 28, 1776. And the, uh, the Palmetto Society was charged with celebrating that victory year after year. The day was originally called Palmetto Day and later changed to Carolina Day. But we get out every year um, in Charleston and have at least uh, since I've lived here, which has been uh, you know, more than 20 years now, we've had our commemoration down at White Point Gardens. Oh. We have a, a speaker every year that comes and provides a little bit of background on mm -hmm. the battle. And in more recent years, <clears throat> we've tied that into a number of other uh, things relating to the revolution uh, as, as, a, as a larger mm -hmm. uh, thing. Let's talk about the history a bit. So for people who don't know much about history, um, the Battle of Sullivan's Island, its significance, yes. who we were fighting. This was a Revolutionary War battle that occurred before the sign of the Declaration of Independence. So the battle occurred uh, on June 28, 1776. Uh, of course, Declaration uh, Official Day we, we celebrate is July the 4th, but uh, the Declaration wasn't actually signed by everyone until really August. Uh, so this battle was really important for a number of reasons. Um, first, it was really the first major victory by the Americans over the British mm. and happened here in Charleston. Um, and so if you think about Sullivan's Island, everybody knows where Fort Moultrie is right there. So back in 1776, the island was largely, uh, was largely desolate and they had this small log fort, Palmetto Log and Sand yeah. Fort. And the battle uh, that took place, which took place between a number of British ships of the line, they came in and attempted to uh, to seize Charleston. Charleston was seen as a strategic um, uh, thing that the British wanted to hold, and uh, so they they sent uh, Admiral Sir Peter Park. Sir Peter Parker in by sea, and then uh, General Henry Clinton in by land. And the plan was to uh, eventually go past, destroy the fort at Sullivan's Island, and come and sail into Charleston Harbor yeah. and uh, occupy the city. Yeah. Of course, we know that that didn't actually end up being successful until many years later, until until Charleston fell in 1780. Yeah. But you have uh, this early victory. Uh, it was a 12-hour battle. Uh, the uh, Patriots had a very small force, only about 435 men, and they were all commanded by wow. William Moultrie, who the Ford is now named yes, after. Uh -huh. uh, battle started at 9 o'clock in the morning, fought all day long, and it ended by about 9 o'clock at night. Um, and one of the big things that was a big victory here was uh, the British actually, uh, a number of things happened that made the battle uh, go the way of the Patriots. Mm -hmm. uh, the British didn't come as close to the fort as they, as they thought they could. Uh, that ended up being to the Patriots' advantage. We were able to shoot at them, their cannon fire. By the time it made it to the fort, much of it just landed in the soft sand and uh, in the palmetto logs. Which maybe if you dig deep enough, you might still be able to find some of those. You, uh, you might be able to. <laughs> cannonballs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so they, they, so they, they weren't able to come close enough. If they'd come right up alongside of the fort, they would have destroyed it, but they sure. didn't. And so we actually ended up, um, uh, the British ended up having to leave a ship here. They didn't have to scuttle one of their ships out in, oh, the, uh, out in the out in the harbor. Yeah, and so then you had the, uh, but the it, British had. If, if I can yes. also say though, the, the importance of the actual palmetto tree and how it protected those who Absolutely. were fighting. So so they were industrious. They were intrepid fighters, and and we celebrate them to this day, Carolina Day. If I can also just ask you, sure. you do have some events that are coming up. So uh, first of all, Carolina Day celebration. This is going to be happening at White Point Gardens? That's correct. So our uh, plan for Carolina Day is uh, uh, a service at St. Michael's Church mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock in the morning that will last an hour. And then uh, we will have an opportunity for the groups that march with the Palmetto Society. And those are really groups. Uh, there are about 30 groups that march in the Carolina Day Parade. They will gather over, over at Washington Park right next to City Hall. And at 1130, the bells of St. Michael's will ring and our uh, parade will begin. It will be uh, 
uh, marching to the uh, beat of the pipe and drums band for the oh, police. That's great. Um, and we will have the Washington Light Infantry Color Guard leading yes. us off. Uh, and we'll go uh, out onto Broad Street and then down Meeting Street all the way down to White Point Gardens. Just such a, a beautiful tour through the city and, and, and to celebrate this history. Cal, I want to thank you so much for sharing with us. And anybody who's interested in l learning more about the Palmetto Society should absolutely go to their website. We're going to put that information up on the screen. Again, thank you so much. It's a sight to behold if you can be downtown during Carolina Day. Okay. Cal, thank you. Thank you. We're back after this.